Hello and welcome to Reamp Roundup, a weekly summary of energy news from the Upper Midwest region. It's the week of December 3rd, 2007, and I'm Jenna Hartwig Wade. More news in Wisconsin on the university's coal plant. Last week, a judge ruled to clean up the coal plant on the University of Wisconsin Madison campus. This week, the state agreed to review 12 other state coal plants, according to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. The Department of Natural Resources will now be able to consider remodeling them. Natural Resources Secretary Matt Frank called it, quote, a major step forward. Wind manufacturer TPI Composites plans to build a new facility in Newton, Iowa. The 316,000 square foot facility will create about 500 new jobs, according to the company. TPI Composites also has factories in Rhode Island, Ohio, Mexico, and China. The company recently signed an agreement with GE Energy. A synthetic fuel plant and coal mine may be constructed in Stark County, North Dakota, according to the Grand Forks Herald. Affiliated company Great Northern Power Development LP told the Grand Forks Herald there was an 80% chance they would be built. The company hopes for construction to begin in 2009 with operation in 2012. The Minnesota Department of Commerce Energy Facility Permitting Staff and the U.S. Department of Energy held two hearings on a proposed coal plant in northern Minnesota. The meetings gave the public the opportunity to comment on Excelsior Energy's environmental impact statement. The public can submit written comments about the environmental impact statement until January 11th, according to the Hibbing Daily Tribune. Michigan Governor Jennifer Granholm just returned from California, where she was learning about that state's clean energy technology projects. She hopes to raise Michigan's profile in the field, according to the Detroit Free Press. She will push the state legislature to adopt a renewable portfolio standard by the end of the year. Sioux Falls held a conference called Wind Energy and Transmission, the South Dakota Landscape. Twelve political and energy organizations held the two-day event. They designed it to help the state realize its wind potential, according to the Mitchell Daily Republic. Senator John Thune gave the keynote presentation. State officials in Illinois sent out a memo asking building managers to set their thermostats no higher than 68 degrees, according to the Quad City Times. Officials directed the memo towards 2,000 buildings, government of offices, prisons, and hospitals. The state hopes to save millions of dollars this winter. And that's it for this week. From all of us at Reamp Roundup, thanks for being with us, and please join us next week.